Hey guys, Ibra here with Hardware Connects, and today we saw some really cool stuff at Razer. Our first video, which you can find up right here, covered Razer's new Raptor monitor, uh, but this time there's something a bit different. This is actually the first time we're covering something for consoles, but there's a PC gaming spin here too. Okay, so this is the turret for Xbox One, and yeah, that's a mouse and keyboard. It's been designed as part of the direct partnership with Microsoft and Razer to see if they can bring more controller options to the console. Razer has already officially announced it, but this is the first time we were able to go hands-on. So let's take a closer look at this thing, but first I want to mention our sponsors for this show. Without the help from Razer, MSI, Fantex, and Thermaltake, CES would just not have been possible. There's actually been a lot of teasers from both Microsoft and Razer about this launch because the turret is actually the very first completely wireless keyboard and mouse combo available for the Xbox One. It actually allows for a PC-like gaming experience which could seriously benefit certain game types. For example, controlling strategy games with a regular console controller is frustrating, and it could also give gamers a very real competitive advantage in FPS games, and I'm not quite sure how Microsoft and game developers will address that. Speaking of games, not everyone is supported right now, but there are about 25 of those included, uh, with uh, you know inclusions like PUBG, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, Minecraft, and Warframe. The approach here is basically a repeat of the original Razer turret, but with upgraded components. That means it is designed to be used on your lap while you sit in front of a TV rather than in front of a desk and a monitor. There's a plush cushion for your lap that has an integrated holder for the keyboard and mouse mat. The other thing that I need to mention is that the turret for Xbox One is completely compatible with Razer Chroma, and in some games, it has full ambient light integration. For example, uh, in Vermintine 2 and Ex Morphin Defense, the keyboard and mouse can change their color based on the events uh, that are happening on screen. So that includes, you know, health status and whatnot. What's really interesting is that both the keyboard and the mouse can be controlled via this single 2.4 gigahertz wireless receiver, and there is a compartment within the mouse to stash that receiver, which is pretty convenient. I should also mention that while I was playing around with this setup, the mouse was actually really magnetic to the track Bad. And there are some magnets holding that mouse uh, from falling completely from the surface. So it is a good and a bad thing, but again, this is all something to be tested uh, a lot in long term. So definitely stay tuned for our review. There's something else we needed to mention, and that's pricing, because this thing costs $250 US, yikes. The turret isn't cheap for sure, but it will be really interesting to see how a keyboard and mouse setup will change a console landscape. There are plenty of games that will benefit from it, but we can also see this being considered a cheat in some online games like PUBG, since aiming with a mouse is so much easier than with a controller. So there you guys have it. What do you think of the turret? Is it something that you guys would add on to your Xbox One setup? Does gaming with a keyboard and mouse combo on a couch even appeal to you? Let us know in the comments down below and stay tuned for more coverage from CES 2019. I'm Ebro with Hardware Connects, signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.